That girl is a real crowd pleaser. Small world, all her friends know me. Young bull living like an Hey everyone, what is up? I'm back, it's Tina, um, obviously, but I am back with a new video for you guys. I'm actually really sick right now, and you know what? I was laying in bed today, and I tried to edit my vlogs, but I got bored, and I tried to film, not film, but record an audio cover, and you know, that just didn't work out, so I was on the phone with Kelvin, and he's like, you know, you should film a video on how to not look sick when you're sick so that's exactly what this is it's more of my no makeup makeup look it's actually it actually is my no makeup makeup look and if i wasn't talking the video this probably would take like 10 minutes 15 minutes tops if you guys follow me on instagram and you ladies that actually requested for this look it's this one right here um so if you guys you know you guys like this look this is exactly what it is. I'm just wearing different lashes in this one. But if you did look at my, if you do have me on Instagram, this look right here is exactly what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, I just want to say thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry that I've been a little off with the videos. You know, I just got back from Vancouver. I'm gonna just keep trying my best to upload more videos for you guys. Thanks for stopping by again. If you guys do like the video, don't forget to like, uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, or Visco. I don't really use Facebook, so don't bother there. And. Um, yeah, thanks again for stopping by. If you guys like the video, like I said, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. Love you guys! Um, I'm using the Makeup Forever concealer as a Yishibol. Ooh, can you all even see? It's really warm in here. Oh my gosh. Starting with my eyebrows, same ish. Hating to see you go, so hit me up when you get back home. I got what you need. Smooth like WD, you wicked the knees. Okay, that's really ugly. Oh god. Whatever. Now I'm gonna take my Anastasia dip brow as usual as well. And same ish. Same ish. Small world, all the friends know me. These are my confessions, man. I'm from, but you don't want. You don't want no problem, want no problem with me. Now I'm just gonna clean again on the bottom a little bit. Okay, in some cases I might have to clean the top still. But um, after I do that, I started, um, like I said last video, I was putting uh, a little bit of like powder. I'm just using like the dark brown. To my face, I've been down so long, it looks like a TH, not sure how that looks. It might be a little thicker than usual, but you know what? Because we're not doing liner, I'm gonna just leave it. Okay, so like I said, we're working. Not backwards, probably working the same way as other people do. But today I'm gonna prime first. So I'm using my Benefit Professional as usual. Let's say this is like, you're sick, but you don't wanna look sick, look. <laughs> I don't wanna look sick, he looks sick. Uh, but I'm just gonna like grab that and just apply it. And I have a different brush that I've been using, that I use. I just, Stick it in that tube there because there's actually a lot of product in this. I don't trust the words you say. How you wanna click? Okay, now I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm gonna just dab all of that in. Look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Okay, next I'm going to take my. I actually just fell in love with this because I bought it when I was in Edmonton like two weeks ago. And uh, a lot of people were raving about this before, the NYX HD concealer. And you know, it's it's rare to find a drugstore concealer that you really like, but I think this is my new drugstore favorite concealer. Hey, like nine day. Now, I'm just going to blend it. You changed up, I caught that whole play Since things never been the same Okay, and then I'm gonna take Airspun My all-time favorite powder This one right here 
because I saw it in my last video. Okay, next. Uh, so I just set that all like my T-zone area. Uh, I'm going to take my Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour to cap off. But this I've been using for a long time. Um, but I just rediscovered it just because Rena decided to use it. And I just I forgot how much I liked it. So I'm just going to go in the areas that I want to cream, not even contour, more of like a cream bronze. To my face. But... So I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm blending that. That's done. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and my Dior, my Dior bronzer. I can't remember which one this is, but it's just like one of these because I got it from when I was working at the Bay as a gift. And I'm just gonna set those areas that I cream contoured with just so they don't move or don't get any more blotchy Tonight. so I'm just going to take my Anastasia contour kit and the furthest ooh, for this it's spelling the furthest this one the furthest this and I'm just going to contour my hollows on my cheeks players and then I'll put some on my temples as well. And I'll just blow my nose. And just to like give a little bit of more depth to my eyes, I am actually going to take one of my brushes and just go in with that same color that Morphe M505, that same color I just contoured with. I'm just gonna put that in my crease as well. Sue's back again! That don't know! That don't know! Now I'm gonna step a little uh, take my same powder and I'm gonna bake as well don't look too hard might hurt yourself known to get the color red the blue dangerous man anyways now I'm going to put on some mascara I'm just using Lancome de Finisil's mascara which gives natural definition and I'm gonna top that off with some lashes today. I just I want lashes even though I'm, I'm sick. Mascara, no mascara. Ta da, ta da. Look out! Now I'm just gonna take off that bakage. Bakage. And I'm just sweep that off. So after that, I'm going to take some contour. So I'm going to take my Carly Bible palette, the darker shade on the very right. And the darker highlight, I mean. And I'm just putting that on the side temples here. Don't worry, we'll blend that. And then I'm going to take a fan brush and use the second highlight in the palette. Why you mad? Fix your face. Ain't my fault that I'll be jacking. I'm going to top this off with Opal by... Becca. I'm just gonna go over that contour because I feel like I take off my contour on the sides of my cheeks with the with the highlighting. Now I'm gonna take um, my icing powder brush. I use it as a blush brush, and I'm gonna take Lancome's Shimmer Mocha Havana, which is like a a bronzy kind of brownish, pinkish, mauveish. <laughs> A little bit of every, everything um, blush, and I'm gonna just apply that on top of that highlight. Now I'm going to take um, my vanilla pigment by Mac. This is my no makeup makeup look with a lippy, like a nice natural lip. But I'm gonna enhance it a little bit and put some lashes on. So I'll be right back because. You guys already know how lashes work. Ta-da! Lashes, lashes. These ones are... You know, um, like I said, if you're not... Uh, if you want to just have like a very natural look, you can do this without the lashes, but I wanted the lashes. But this is basically it, and then I just uh, top it off with like a nice lip, a simple lip. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, or subscribe on Twitter. Peace.